Okay, we're into the uh, last bit of texturing on this guy here. Um, again, what we're going to do is take a look at um, some of the workflow or the techniques in painting up some of the textures on this guy. Mostly what we're going to work with here is color adjustment or some color correction, some changes of the hue or the saturation using some of these tools in my box down below here. So. Um, the first thing we should point out um, is that the root base here is simply just a, a brown uh, texture map painted over top of the the base rock there and just filling in kind of a brown um, just a simple brown color in there and then we have the root detail um, from the bump map um, that I've worked with in there as well um, so the first thing that we want to do is let's adjust some of the overall color of these roots. So we have this simple kind of flat brown. Um, it'd be nice to kind of break that up a little bit to give us uh, a little bit of a different effect or feel. So we have all these tools down here. We have these burn, um, uh, dodge as well, so that we can go in and, and start to darken or brighten or change the overall saturation of the colors here. So we can take the sponge tool, which if, if you hold the um, if you hold your your uh, your your pen or your 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 stylus over top of um, any of the tools, it's going to tell you, give you a, a bubble to give you a hint as to what it does. With the sponge here, we're going to adjust the overall saturation. Uh, I'm just going to use the um, default fall off for this. And what we can do is start to go in and paint some of the saturation. Now I'm actually brightening that. If I put it to a negative um, effect here, I can darken that. So I can start to load up that saturation. So I'm actually effectively um, sat, you know, increasing the saturation here as I go. So I'm just going to kind of bring out a little bit of that yellowy tone on some of this here. And the idea is that I'm just breaking up some of that color. And I'm taking advantage of the tools in Mudbox to do that. Instead of just relying on that uh, pretty bland base brown, I can start to paint in some different hue and saturation. And, and the nice thing is, this is all just from one simple base, uh, simple base color that I've applied to it as well. And then we can get into burn, where we're going to start darkening up things here, right? So we can start to kind of um, uh, work with the different tones that we want to work with in here. So uh, we can work with the mid-tones. Um, we can adjust the exposure on things on, on there as well. And we can go in and, and start to do things like the dodge brush here is excellent for kind of giving an overall brightening effect of some of these colors in here. And we can just keep working with some of the contrast as well. Maybe, whoops, it's a little heavy. We'll bring the strength down on that. Um, and just kind of work the contrast up. Let's bring the strength up a bit. There we go. So we can get these kind of different tones and colors over top of the roots as we go. I'll just add a little bit of contrast to these roots here. Um, probably a good idea to darken this these tips a bit so we can kind of put a little bit of a kind of a reddish fall off and then what we'll do is we'll um, we'll bring in some dark kind of almost blackish color to put in there. So I'm just painting. I'm not using any different maps or stamps or stencils or anything like that on here. I'm just adjusting the the color as I go, working with contrast, hue, saturation. I have some lights going on in the scene here. Um, I've turned the shadows on. I'm just working with um, a simple little three-point um, image-based lighting setup here as well, just to give me this kind of nice overall lighting effect. There we go, so we're starting to break up that color there. And then the other thing that we can do is we can use some of these hue and hue shift brushes. So um, I can break up the overall color on there. So what I'm going to do is work with the hue on this. Um, maybe bring a little bit more kind of red in there. So I can actually change that overall hue uh, a little bit. Let's bring the red out a little bit in this 
We'll bring the strength rate down. And we have a little bit of red that we're bringing out in here. So we'll just kind of accentuate that a little bit. A little more reddish hue along these roots. So you can see that we're starting to break up the color here. Rather than just a uniform brown throughout, we can start to play with some different values. Um, of course, we can darken this a little bit later on. We're going to throw a moss stencil on here within the next few minutes. Just kind of break up the uh, the surface a bit, add some more detail, some kind of moss-like detail going up the rocks and the roots. There we go. So we're, we're getting a little more interesting color going on. And these rocks as well. Um, you can see they're quite gray. Uh, in the previous video here where we're texture painting them, they're quite gray. There's even a little bit of a bluish hue. Well, we can go in and start adjusting some of that. One of the things I've done here is I brought in a little layer. Um, I'm just calling it overall color adjust. And what I'm doing with that is it's just a brown. So if I display that, it's just this kind of ugly orange uh, brown color on here. But what I can do is kind of uh, blend or multiply that in using a color. I'm going to blend in that layer using a color and then bring the opacity right down. Bring it down nice and low here. So we still want that kind of grayish blue, but not as much, right? So kind of add a little bit of a brown tint to our boulders or our rocks. There you go. So you can see the difference. I'm taking a little bit of that blue, overall bluish hue of the rock out a bit. Maybe that's a bit too much. We can go down. That's fine. So I'm just bringing in simple colors. And then what you can do for that actual layer there is if you just bring in a simple color swatch, uh, you can import. You can see that I'm using a 256 by 256 layer. It's just a simple color swatch that I've applied on there. And I'm, I'm blending it in to give my um, kind of a color adjust layer. And then we can keep going with these roots, right? Let's um, adjust a little bit of the, the overall color on some of these guys here get them broken up a bit and that's the general idea is going along especially with the tree right we'd really want to break that tree up put some interesting colors on there rather than just the the default kind of brown that I'm using on there but let's move on to the rocks uh, let's take a look at some of the um, the rock uh, colors here what we can do is start to do the same thing with some of these um, the contrast brush is going to work really nicely on these rocks where it's going to bring up some of the overall effects here of the um, you can see we're really brightening or kind of bringing up the overall contrast of some of these stones in here so here you can see we're darkening up the, really breaking up the contrast there we go really bringing in some nice details up, up uh, out of those texture maps in there and then what we can do as well is work with the hue um, you know a little bit of blue or even some kind of purplish tones on some of these rocks isn't necessarily a bad thing. Just bring up a little bit of that. There we go. I don't want to go too purple on this, but just getting a little bit of a purplish hue on there. And of course, a little bit of that blue. Some of, sometimes you see quite often rocks will have just a greenish tint. I don't want to go too crazy with the greenish tint because I am going to put some moss effects on here. We're going to put a nice little moss stencil over top of some of this. But the idea now is we're detailing, right? We're trying to break up the surface a bit, make it a little more interesting to look at rather than the same uniform uh, colors of rock across the surface we can start to break that up a little bit. And another excellent way to do that um, is, let's just create a new layer here. We'll just call this darken. So we're working with the, the, uh, the rocks um, so that we want to darken this up a bit, especially to kind of define maybe the shoulders and the chest. Um, so we can use a couple of these different things here. We can use the contrast um, maybe we can use the uh, the burn tool um, and then if we put this as an overlay it kind of gives a nice let, let's actually before we do that let's just start painting in some simple black on this so I'm obviously just going to get um, 
an overall black on here that's going to be probably a little much but uh, just to show a normal black we're painting this on I'm, I'm actually kind of covering up the texture well I'm not going to want that I'm going to want um, a different effect on this so just to show the difference here with it on normal um, and then if we switch the blend here to um, something like an overlay you can see the effect that I'm getting there I'm kind of darkening um, the overall rock structure there so maybe we can start to use this to define some areas on on his chest on his shoulders bring that down a little bit and again we're doing this just to kind of break up the surface overall some of these areas here around his neck and we'll just adjust the uh, overall look on this guy good idea to get in some of these bottom areas on these rocks kind of darken them up a bit with this overlay that I'm using So if we really went crazy with this, we could really start to define some of these shapes or the structure on them here, right? Some of the cheek structure, some of these little um, little indents on the jaw. Um, we have some areas here, these little kind of grooves along the teeth. Just fill in some of these areas. So we're just kind of rubbing in this black as an overlay. Give it that overall effect. And tumble around a bit, maybe this rock here a bit. Okay. 